Why? What's up, Slam Dancers? Today on Slam Dance with Christine 16, we have the band Picturesque, who just got off stage on the, what tour What tour is this? You guys are on tour with uh, Out Came the Wolves, Slaves, Secrets, and... The Beautiful Death Tour. The Beautiful Death Tour, right on. Uh, how's how's tour going for you guys right now? I know your guys' band just broke down yesterday, right? Uh, uh, aside from yeah. that, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I, met, I missed yesterday's show, but uh, everybody else played it and they said it was great. So, it, it was a weird point. We have an emergency track where if I have to miss, we can route me to my track stuff to front of the house. So, or, hey, literally, go, or, or literally anything. We have it set up to where like if somebody misses, we can cover them. I can't wait. There was, there was so me. much room on stage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Right on. Could I have you guys introduce yourself and say what you guys do in the band? Uh, I, I'm Zach. I play guitar in the band. My name is Kyle. I'm Dylan, I also play guitar in the band. I'm Jordan, and I play bass. Right on, you guys just uh, released a new record, Back, Back to Beautiful, which came out July 14th. How has uh, the career been since the release of that? Uh, I think it's a step in the right direction. Uh, it took us a long time to put that record out, and uh, it, was a, uh, it was like a really strange process, uh, and it, it took place over the course of like three years. And, uh, but now that it's out, we're super proud of it, and we're, it's the record. It's been very positive on our career, too. We let it out, like, you know, last tour on the Come Around tour. Um, the Dust Let and Divine tour is what it's called. And, uh, since then, this is our first tour after we actually released the record, I can say. And, I mean, it's been obvious to all of us that it's definitely helped our career. More people know our music, more people have shown up, more people have come to talk to us, knew who we were before and after we played. Definitely been positive. Right on. Yeah. right on. And what is for people who've never heard of you guys? Well, what is one the one's first song you'd like people to check out on that release? Uh, for me, it's probably "Without You," which is like probably the most obscure song on the record. But uh, I'm really proud of that song. It's one of my favorites. Um, unannounced or honestly, those are my two favorites. But like just with the modern populace and everything. Alright. I'm kind of with him. Like, Unannounced honestly are my favorite, so it's kind of hard for me to actually choose between Unannounced and uh, Just Exist. Because Just Exist is a really good sing along song. It's a you know, very rock song. It's easy to get into, easy to sing along, easy to digest. Whereas Unannounced is a little A lot more raw emotion who we want to be and showing who we are in it. For the guitar players out there, I'd say Waiting. Because it's got some pretty taste to it. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> for people who have never heard of you guys, what are three bands you would recommend for fans of, for people to check you guys out? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, you know, we all know. <laughs> Sleeping with Sirens, Circus Survive, and uh, uh, Silent Heat, Heat. and of Machines. Uh, well, I guess it's four. Uh, but I would have said Alice. Or Pierce the Bailey. Really? Yeah, that's what yeah, I would have said. I, the, the biggest comparison. Kind of got that we get, and the one that I would say is most accurate is our yeah. um, right. They're a little more metalcore than we are, but uh, vocally, the high stuff, I think, is the most similar. So, what is your guys' favorite city you guys have checked out while touring? Uh, Dude, I, I got this. Portland. Because <laughs> our crowds are awesome out there in the Northwest. And they're so awesome. And then once we're in Portland, we always play this game close to this little the fireplace place with all the food trucks surrounding it that's kind of hidden. The coolest spot ever to be always going to eat and hang out. So it's not even about the venue. It's about the crowd. No, it's, it's about, not the, about the venue. It's about the all. crowd and because the venue not even actually the food, it's the spot. The like venue. the venue staff and everything, they're great, but you have to load up a flight of stairs, which really a very, sucks. very long flight of stairs. Yeah. I, I think, I think, yeah. All this, there's a bunch of cool cities. I think, uh, I think like I enjoy seeing them about as often as I see them. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I like have a bad story in almost every one of them and I have a really good story in almost every one of them. So it's kind of like every time I see one it's kind of bittersweet to leave and I enjoy I, I enjoy big cities like New York and, and uh, like Washington. 
Anaheim, California. And, like when I'm there, I'm like, ah, it feels good to be back. And then when it's time to go, I'm really ready to leave. So. Of course, of course. Uh, being in a band, what is your guys' favorite song to perform live out of your guys' set? Whichever one the crowd sings along to the last. Uh, waiting, waiting probably for me. Uh, it's tough for me to choose between waiting and just for this, the crowd is really in the best of this. It's so easy to like, get into it. On this tour, I, I think Monstrous was more of a response. Which is really weird. Yeah, the like, shaking my play. head refrain part. I've noticed it's pretty loud on it. Yeah, it's pretty that. awesome. So. <laughs> um. Right on. Is there anything else you'd like uh, for people to check out about you guys? Uh, Our new record that just came out, and uh, we just released an acoustic version of Unannounced. Yeah. It's piano and cello and Kyle. It's a much more raw version of the yeah. song, and we're we've got another one that's coming up. And right after that, there should be a cover being released soon. Yeah, we're, we've been working on all kinds of stuff, so just check out our YouTube channel. Yeah, and stay updated. Yep. Subscribe. <laughs> right on. We'll finish this out with one last question. Uh, Pierce the Veil or Sleeping with Sirens? Pierce the Veil. Pierce the Veil. You know, honestly, I, I probably I probably listen to Sleeping with Sirens more, but I I don't listen to either band a lot. I would say I listen to Sleeping with Sirens more, but I say I kind of I probably missed the boat on Pierce the Veil. Like I enjoy listening to them more. Probably. I mean, Pierce. Everyone just made it so easy. <laughs> I like it. It's, it's too hard. Too hard. Yeah, we can I, go for a time. I have for sure seen <laughs> Sleeping with Sirens live more. Uh, I don't think I think I've seen Pierce the Veil like we played uh, to their audience outside with an acoustic guitar a couple times. So I've seen them like through some doors, but I've never actually been one of their shows. Uh, Except for, aside what? from Warped Tour, yeah. Pierce like I feel like they're still doing the same kind of music, and I can really vibe with that. Like it's it's music that I've always enjoyed. But they kind of doubled down on it. Yeah, like like Sleeping is different of a record and um, it's, it's, it's a good route to go but it's just not my cup of tea um, like Pierce the Veil still has heavy parts and you know they riff and that's just what I'm into and it's like metalcore without being metalcore and fixed voices like it just matches them so well you know? they're their own thing and yeah. I think they yeah every record like they that, just double down on that instead of trying to do another like thing they, that brand that they have is just like no one else can do it <laughs> hey, it's all good. Right on. That's all we have on Slam Dance with Christine 16 today. Be sure to check, check out Pish, Picturesque on tour with Slaves. And that's all we have. Woo! Woo!